a home court advantage for him when they played last year in this building. North Carolina took the state to overtime before they lost. First time they had gone to overtime since 2009. Well, NC State in their home whites. River Baldwin still trying to get kind of back on track, number one, after she missed games with an ankle injury. Good start for Sanaya Rivers. And I think Sanaya Rivers is a player who needs to be more consistent when it comes to scoring the basketball. She is a natural facilitator, but she's got to hunt some shots. There's a starting lineup. Alyssa Uspi is the Swiss Army Knife player. Lexi Donarski with the ball in her hands. Iowa State transfer is a three-point threat. Uspi lost it momentarily, and now Gokdang got behind Baldwin. I like the look to, to get Maria Gokdang a touch early as we see NC State starting five. River Baldwin has a tendency to get into foul trouble. River Baldwin is also a player for NC State that they want to get going offensively. So I think you'll see this matchup and both of them continuing to get touches. And that is a very good matchup indeed. Gokdang got the best of that. Gokdang the transfer from Boston College, her first year with the Tar Heels. River Baldwin started her career at Florida State. Usby with the drive. That's really her game. How about a left-handed push shot? Well, you can see the way that Mimi Collins is going to play here from the three-point line. She's going to play off. And when you play off, you still can't allow Usby to get two feet in the paint. Usby coming off a 13-point game, four blocks, but a loss to Virginia on the road. No foul call as James hit the deck. NC State, meanwhile, has won three straight games. Donarski almost pulled it. Here's the freshman, Renaya Kelly. Deja, River Baldwin, good job getting in front of Gokdang. Collins from the baseline. And Baldwin gives him an extra 20 seconds. And a good sign the way that River Baldwin is moving. Westmore talking to us about she's, she started to move better over the last few days coming back from that ankle injury. A couple of offensive rebounds on this trip. Baldwin got it blocked by Gokdang. Now Kelly on the move. At North Carolina thrives in transition, and that was the major concern for Wes Moore. And there is Wes in his 11th year at NC State, three-time ACC Coach of the Year. He's taken his team to six straight NCAA tournaments. Isaiah James called for the personal foul. Kelly with the screen from Hayes got a little bit of room. That's her spot. If you allow Deja Kelly to get into the mid-range, she is going to knock it down all day long. Three of the last four games, Kelly has had to play all 40 minutes. Carolina down to just four guards on their roster. Here's Usby. Going to take it all the way. Good defense by Collins, and the ball goes to the pack. And this Moore is upset over there on the sidelines. His face color almost the same shade as his shirt. <laughs> I don't think he's pleased with how soft his team is going to the rim right now. They're going to the rim, expecting to get contact, shooting fadeaways, not initiating contact. Got to be stronger with the basketball. This is a very good defensive team in the Tar Heels. North Carolina hanging there. Pats on defense. That's the second time James has gone to the floor, but no call. Gokdang stepped on the end line. North Carolina defending now right in front of the NC State student section and the band. They're very loud. All on their feet. Great atmosphere. And a full 30 seconds to shoot as Rivers inbounds here's James scoring a lot but also taking a lot of shots lately Mimi Collins has a very unusual release on that shot but it works yes she does but, but she's worked on it she used to release it above her head now she gets it almost to that right shoulder something that Westmore said she worked all summer on she's coming off 17 points at Boston College 
their last game. Husky able to interrupt, and then Donarski was run into, and boy, that is two on Isaiah James. So two fouls on their leading scorer just four minutes in. Yeah, that hurts. She just wasn't able to get that ball cleanly, and then when she went after it, the foul. And, and this hurts because this takes away a playmaker. You can see just diving after the ball right into Donarski. No question it's a foul. But Isaiah James is a three-level scorer, and she's a player that runs off of a lot of off-ball screens, so she keeps defenses engaged. It'll be interesting to see if the Wolfpack uses Sanaya Rivers in the same way off the ball. Here's Usby. Now the right-handed push shot doesn't go down. And Zoe Brooks checked in for James, number 35, a true freshman. Highly heralded recruit who has been coming off the bench after starting six games. And Coach Moore mentioned he'd like to see Zoe get back to what we saw earlier in the season. Yeah, she was so good at playmaking, strong with the basketball, able to get some, some easy buckets for her team. And sometimes it's just the ebb and flow of being a freshman in this league, finding your way. She's had to play multiple roles. Oh, Hayes was very physical with Kelly who got the shot. And Madison Hayes on Deja Kelly to use her link, but Kelly was able to neutralize it by using her body, physicality, getting into the defender. State has missed eight of its last nine shots. No foul call on that shot attempt by Hayes. Here's Renai Kelly. Rivers coast to coast, mm -hmm. drew the foul, almost got it to trickle in. So North Carolina off to a good start. NC State has missed nine of its last ten shots, but still just down three in front of a sold-out crowd. It's bow time. <laughs> Get for women's college basketball is presented by Ally. Whatever you're saving for, we're all better off with an ally. And some... Had some look at what happened last year, a game that went into overtime, and Courtney Banghart mentioned what Isaiah James did to them. She had 18 points off the bench against North Carolina in that state overtime win, 12 of them in the fourth quarter and overtime, and it was the very next day when Isaiah James became a starter, and she's been a starter ever since taking advantage of opportunity. I mean, that was a game where the Tar Heels led by 10 with just four minutes remaining in the ball game and the Wolfpack just took it over. Large part of that due to Isaiah James. Sonia Rivers with the first free throws taken by either team. Cuts the lead down to one. Good news for NC State because so far they're shooting just 18% from the floor. Usby, that's kind of the extent of her range. Hey, and it's going to be a problem if she starts making those. you got to make her think about it a little bit more. Stunt back and forth, have high, active hands. You can play off without being five feet off of her. And Usby hustling all the time, able to force that turnover. And I, Kelly gets it over to Janarski. Deja, yep, she did. She took some steps after River Baldwin used her all six foot five inches of her to stop her in her tracks. And River Baldwin is one of the best health defenders in this league. She does such an outstanding job of getting, getting position. She's not a rim protector in terms of shot blocking. She's a rim protector in terms of positioning, taking charges, being a presence in the paint. Does average about a block and a half per game, but yeah, that's not her real strength. Rivers with the miss. They're doing a good job getting back to stop the transition. Usby on Baldwin. Gets it out to Deja. And she missed everything. She's going to hear about it. She's probably going to hear about it the rest of the game. <laughs> well, Deja Kelly and Madison Hayes for the pack are good friends. And earlier in the game when Deja hit a shot, she gave that 
How, how do you describe that, yeah, that waving the face? See, you can't see me. You can't see yeah, me. Can't yeah, see yeah. She, she yeah. did that thing we've seen with Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese last year with their buddies. But she missed everything on that shot. I think you're Westmore right now. You've got to talk about your offensive execution, not getting great shots, getting in the paint, really hunting foul calls. And that was a great read by Sanaya Rivers. Not being strong to the rim. But one of the things we talked to him about was just how, how they've struggled shooting the three. And he doesn't like his shot selection. Poor shot selection, poor shot quality. He wants to get him more out of rhythm. He wants his players to be in attack mentality first, then three-point shooting later. And he says that indeed is their strength getting to the rim. And every time Kelly catches the ball, the bandit and, <laughs> and students are yelling air ball. Rivers, lightning quick in the open court. Terrific pass to Hayes. Maddie Hayes coming off the double-double at BC. Gives State the lead. Usby. Going to the rim, a little bit too much on the shot. Collins gets it up to Rivers. Blows right by Donarski, who is called for the foul. Karen Prado, Alani Spurlock, Welsh, and Rod Creech, our officials tonight. I, I love how Sanaya Rivers is attacking in transition. This is exactly what she needs to be able to do. She hits Maddie Hayes here on the pass ahead. And then the play after this goes to the rim, creates foul opportunities. I'm not sure when Tanaya River puts her mind to it that anybody in this league can check her one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, yeah. The problem is when she disappears at times in the game, playing consistently aggressive. She's a natural playmaker. She can be both. It's been so important to this team, leading them in several categories. And both Usby. And Navarre go down. Well, both of them just going after that hustle play and colliding with one another. Yeah, that be called for dribbling the ball on the end line. Gets the ball back to NC State. North Carolina with a deeper bench. Pool number 13 is into the game. Check that Tiani Key is number 13. Pardon me. There she is at the rim. Skips out for Brooks. Billy Brooks isn't wearing her goggles today. She's not wearing her glasses. Navarre called for her first personal foul. And yes, no goggles for Zoe Brooks. Last four games shooting just 31% for the floor, so maybe changing it up. Every Thursday, a women's college basketball doubleheader for you on the ACC Network and the app next week. Boston College, Virginia at 6 Eastern. Then we will be right back here. Can't wait. Can't wait. Virginia Tech, NC State again. Virginia Tech with a big win today against Virginia. Liz Kidley, all she did was what, 33 and 18? 33 points, 18 rebounds, a double-double for Georgia Amor, who I believe had 14 assists. And it was Kitley's put in at the buzzer that beat NC State in Blacksburg earlier this year. NC State gets really lucky there. If you're River Baldwin, you cannot be that deep on the on-ball screen with Deja Kelly and Zoe Brooks goes to work. Well, you gotta like that aggressiveness for Brooks. It's an eight-nothing state run. Carolina's going over three minutes without a point. Navarre, the Stanford transfer, got a couple of bounces. That's that shooter's touch right there. Played 12 minutes in their last game against Virginia and fouled out. There's Baldwin, checked by Key. Uske comes away with it after Hayes went flying in. Uh, great hand. And a foul in the backcourt. Hey, this might just be the game that Zoe Brooks finds her rhythm. She looks really good early, attacking the rim, aggressive on the defensive end of the floor. She had a triple-double. 
earlier this year against Liberty. 14 points, 12 rebounds, 10 assists. Just a second in the history of this program. A couple of 10 plus assist games, but Westmore looking for her to get back on track, and she has looked good so far tonight coming off the bench. This is such a tough NC State team to scout because all five players that start the ball game are threats. They all have the ability to score 20 or more. You can't really focus on one or two. And if you have six deep that can do that, I mean, that makes this team really dangerous for the postseason. The air ball chant as Kelly attacks Brooks who gets called with a foul. That is the first on the true freshman from Plainfield, New Jersey, the highest ranked recruit ever signed by NC State. That's incredible when you think about all the talented athletes who have come through this program. Final six seconds of this quarter. Navarre to Kelly. Got a piece of the rim, but Deja Kelly in that first quarter. Four points, but NC's, but they've gotten some wins recently in the ACC, and it's about coming together at the right time. This is a team who has been injury riddled, finally started to get some bodies back, and of course, Paulina Paris out now with a lower body injury, but trying to find a rhythm, trying to find a pattern of substitutions and get everyone playing their best by the time March comes around. And Paris still day to day, out with a lower body injury. That's Donarski with the shot. That's her first shot of the game. North Carolina got its first ever win in South Bend earlier this season. Yeah, that was a heck of a game. India Navarre was outstanding yeah. off the bench. It's a game that Maddie Westfeld missed with a concussion, but it's still a great win for Carolina. Shot clock winding down. Rivers to Collins and Collins was able to gather very calmly and score. Pam, all five starters on this Wolfpack team have improved so much from a season ago, but I think Mimi Collins might be the single most improved. Not just her ability to score the basketball, which was inconsistent a year ago, but her rebounding, her screening, her defensive positioning, her effort on both ends of the floor. She's been terrific. Yeah, everything, all of her numbers are up. That's a nice pass. Zoe Brooks in the zone, getting it to Collins. Biggest lead of the night for State. North Carolina, a team that can struggle to score at times, and they're running through that stretch now. Another miss for Deja Kelly. The struggle is when they get stagnant, when they stop moving the ball, when it gets stuck in one person's hands. You know, in that Notre Dame game, I thought India Navarre was spectacular in how she moved without the basketball. Her backdoor cuts to the rim, ability to attack and then make the next pass. And NC State is good at drawing charges. Maddie Cox, the freshman, drew that one. Maddie Cox giving River Baldwin a spell. She just gets perfect position, takes the contact. Younger sister of Lauren Cox, who had such a great career at Baylor, now playing overseas. Hey, that's two fouls on Navarre. They got into foul trouble in their last game, their loss at Virginia. And that's the shot selection right there. Yeah, that's the shot. You can get that shot at any time in this shot clock. You don't like that shot, Coach. No. Donarski, a little bit of room, nails it. That's all she needs, right? A little bit of room, a little bit of space. That is a two for the grad transfer from Iowa State. And had to take 18 hours in summer school in order to transfer over. So that's back-to-back -back three point shots behind yeah. screens. Yep. And they're not making the defense work. NC State not shooting at a high percentage in conference play, only 32%, which is ninth in the league. You've got to force teams to defend. And, and you talked about the depth in, in Carolina, but the depth is not at the guard position. They only have four scholarship guards available. So really force them to work. Put them under duress. Well, they lost Kayla McPherson, who was shut down earlier this year. Going to need knee surgery, a very talented redshirt sophomore. And 
Still waiting for Paulina Paris to get healthy. Rivers inside. Kelly went down, no call, and now Zelaya and Rivers both holding on for dear life. I like how hard Rivers went downhill. Didn't quite get it to fall. I, I thought that the contact looked a little bit worse than it was. There was contact, certainly. But the jump ball and possession stays with the Wolfpack. Collins gets a nice hand as she takes a break. She's got seven tonight on the three boards. Another outside shot, that time by Brooks. Here's Kelly in the open court. Janarski just hit a three. That's a pinpoint pass into Gokden. And Maria Gokden, perfect position. Did her work early. Timing was right on point. Opting with four points so far. Cuts the lead back down to three. Shot off the mark by freshman Macy Steele. Now Gokdang as Cox fell down. And Gokdang ran the floor so well in that possession. He got a reward by giving, giving her the ball. Back-to-back -back buckets by the BC transfer. Cuts the lead to one. And I think you're going to see the Tar Heels continue to go to that matchup. Give Gokdang the ball inside. State's gone over two and a half minutes without a point. Brooks, a big step in the lane. And another foul call. Wes Morgan on Maddie Cox telling her to quit flopping and play defense. Janarski whistled for the personal foul. And that is two on Lexi. Freshman to freshman, Steele finds Cox. I love that take. As soon as Maddie Cox caught the ball, you could see the rip and go coming. Like the matchup. She shows her mobility on the perimeter. There's no hesitation. Gets down the lane line. And folks, that is not an easy shot down the lane line, taking the contact. We saw Maddie Cox out here before shoot around. She was the only one in the gym early. Working on her shot, getting some working with the coaching staff. She's a gym rat. She wants to keep getting better. Gotta love that, right? Five freshmen on this team. Asia Kelly has missed her last four shots after making her first two. Gets the ball again, gets serenaded again. Here's Renaya off the rim, but Usby is there to clean it up. Usby's activity level, she's just so good at staying active. She's got a great nose for the ball. It's not good enough just to try to box her out one time. Also has five rebounds tonight. Rivers back rims it. Usby gets another rebound. A terrific athlete. Played soccer and softball. Had 14 varsity letters in high school. And developing as a basketball player as her career goes on. Kelly. Oosh. Had to rainbow that because Baldwin was there. Breaks her string, and then Brooks with her sixth point of the night. Carolina has hit four of its last five shots. Kelly gets it back to Usky, who won't shoot from there. Shot clock dying. Oh, and with 1.8 seconds left on the shot clock, they get Baldwin for a foul on Gokdang. Yeah, you can see Gokdang was displaced when the pass came in, and just a little extension right there by River Baldwin. Timeout on the floor, stayed up by two.
Trust me on this. Lays taste like winning the Super Bowl, bro. <laughs> nah. It's away from Duke in North Carolina playing in men's basketball in an amazing Saturday blockbuster triple header. First time since December of 94 that there are three top 10 matchups in men's basketball on the same day, and we got them for you. Great day for basketball. And uh, always Caitlin right? Clark's at College Park that night. And Caitlin Clark is at yeah. College Park that night. That is the truth. And how about the Kentucky Wildcats going to look to bounce back from that loss against Florida? Pam Morgan, Stephanie White joining you here. Sold out Reynolds Coliseum. It's going to become redundant because the, the rest of their games this season are all sold out. Rivers. Over to Brooks, who's made an impact off the bench. There you go. And you get a ball reversal. And what happens? You can attack a closeout on the backside. NC State can do a better job of moving the basketball side to side. Dockton got tied up with Collins. Possession arrow keeps it with the heels. I mean, this is just ball gets from one side to the other. You get a paint touch, you get a rotation, a poor closeout. Zoe Brooks does a good job of attacking and you get an easy two. That's how you shift the defense. It doesn't have to be complicated. But the ball has to pass that midline. And Brooks, the, whose numbers have fallen off in the last few games, coming alive here tonight. Shot clock dwindling again for Deja Kelly. Pull up. Another miss. And Brooks, the true freshman, who has six starts on the season. Now coming off the bench for Westmore. I like that. Tanaya Rivers wants to clear out. Shot clock. Going down, and that will be a foul on Madison Hayes. First foul on Maddie. Third year at NC State after starting out at Mississippi State. And Maddie's coming in for the board. Looks like they call that second contact. There's little contact with Usby, but ran right into Deja Kelly. Deja gave the point. Like, like yep, that's you. <laughs> North Carolina has not hit a three-point shot in this game. They only average about five per game. It's not a big part of their arsenal. And they shoot at less than 30%. Most of that is Lexi Donarski. Yep. Galkting, nothing doing. Ball went out. Maneuvered her to get the rebound. As we hit two minutes to go in the first half. Tonight Rivers. To Hayes, guarded by Donarski, who was a conference defensive player of the year at Iowa State. And soon to be retooled the Big 12. Another foul call on state just the first on Mimi Collins both teams with just three team fouls need five to get into the bonus and Wes Moore saying he thought it was an arm an extended arm should have gone the other way Stagger coming Yes, there's a foul. Baldwin hit Usby on Usby's way through the lane. So that's two on River. Now 14 fouls. The next one sends Carolina to the line. Baldwin's going to go out with those two fouls. And Cox comes in. Maddie has three points. And he's guarding Usby. Yeah, right away. I yep. like that. Go to the Gokden. Gokden calling for it, but Mimi Collins played stout defense. I don't think she needed all of that. Just turn and shoot over the top of Mimi Collins. Yeah, you got the, she has the, you have the height advantage, yeah, right? She has the advantage. Just turn and shoot the ball. Thing is listed as the same height as Collins, but 
That doesn't pass the eye test. That does not pass the eye <laughs> test, no. Maybe with Mimi's extended ponytail. <laughs> River started by Kelly, who often gets tough defensive assignments. We were 15 seconds in before the first pass in offense. This is a team that's dangerous at all five positions. Ball movement can be better. Five players averaging in double figures. Kelly picked it up. Ogden posting up Collins again. Very physical down there. Konarski for three. Carolina still has not hit a three. Neither team getting easy looks. And EC State is one of the top defensive teams in this league. And Tania Rivers cannot get it to fall. Got the rebound and found Collins wide open down the lane. Wolfpack continuing to work the offensive glass. The hustle plays. Getting extra possessions. North Carolina has not scored in over four minutes. The drought is over. And the shot clock is off. Usky scored that last basket. Brooks. Collins with the buzzer. Got it! Mimi Collins beat the... And right now they are the fifth-ranked team in the entire nation. Zai James only played four minutes in that first half because of foul trouble, got a couple of fouls, and did not score. Well, it's going to be important to get her going right away. She's going to come off of this back screen, pin down. So something that Westmore designed to get her going? Yeah, and they love that action. I mean, she does a good job. They set the little brush screen for River Baldwin, and then Isaiah James comes off the pin. They can adjust it where she comes off of the stagger, but I think you got to get her going on the offensive end. Last three games, she's averaged over 21 points per game, had 18 against Carolina last year in this building and has started ever since that game. Good job to corral that. James with the miss. Deja Kelly gets the rebound and Deja Kelly did not go to the free throw line once in the first half. We'll do it to start things off here. Only Reese at LSU gets the line more often than Deja Kelly in the entire country. Well, in the first half, she really didn't attack all the way to the rim. She stopped in her mid-range where she is so lethal. But NC State making everything difficult, every shot difficult. Second foul on Mimi Collins. And Deja Kelly... Over the last six games, averaging over 21 points per game, including a couple of 27-point efforts, hits both free throws, or free throw percentages are going up as the season has gone on. And in those six games, 79% from the line, so really starting to find some confidence shooting the basketball. Great cut! Oh my goodness! That a way to get yourself involved. Isaiah James, backdoor cut. Isaiah's first points of the game, averaging 15 and a half on the season, which leads her team. Usby got bottled up by Collins, and then set a monster screen. She will not shoot from there. 0 for 6 from 3 on the season. Collins gets it out to James. Right inside the Baldwin, count it. River Baldwin was trailing the play in transition and was able to get back. The perfect position. She was stealing for it right away. Continues to use her feet to keep Gokdang behind her and finishing the end one. River Baldwin is an important piece of what the Wolves pack do. They've got to find a way to get her back in the rhythm. She was playing terrific basketball before she went down with that ankle injury. First points of the night. That foul was on Gokdang, her first. Since she came back, Baldwin has scored six points in all three games, was averaging 15 and a half before that happened. Great D. Good 
Edge Kelly knocking down the shot. Gets into double figures. It's interesting, Pam, because when you're when you're playing off of a player as, as Mimi Collins is on Alyssa Utsby, sometimes in your mind you get in a soft kind of mindset, right? A soft kind of mode, because she's continued to play off of Deja Kelly, who just takes a one dribble and gets to her spot. Rivers draws a foul this time. And um, Renaya Kelly, we talked about her in the open. Renaya Kelly did not score in that first half, coming off a career-high 20 in the loss to Virginia. Three straight games, Kelly has, hit, has gotten a new career-high in scoring, but was shut out in the first half. I think for Carolina, too, it's like they're still a team that's trying to find their rhythm, right, on the offensive end, still trying to find, put these pieces together. Players in and out of lineups find some chemistry and camaraderie. Courtney Banghart said, I like where our team is right now. UVA was, was a little bit of an anomaly with what happens to them defensively, but gave you know the Cavs a ton, Cavaliers a ton of credit, the way they shot the ball, the way they executed offensively. And Rivers goes one for two. Virginia scored 81 points in that game on Sunday, which is the most points that Carolina has given up all year. Kelly for three. Get a couple now. Could be streaky. Just her finding confidence in that shot. We know she's she's lethal and has confidence in the mid-range. Being able to find consistency and confidence from the three-point line is important. Yeah, just 26% from three on the season coming into this game. But you can see it. She got her hand underneath it. The release was perfect. Had the time. Sometimes when she feels a little rushed, it gets off her hand a little bit flat. That time was perfection. Here's Kelly already with seven points here in this quarter. All seven of North Carolina's points scored by Deja. Lead back to six. Rivers. Boy, that elevation on the oh. jumper, man. And it's so smooth. It's smart. You just watch it develop, like the angle that we had from behind. And you're right, that elevation, smooth. Benarski. Still no threes. Other than the Deja Kelly three for Carolina. Collins turn, left it short, wanted the foul. Marski guarded by James. Dockdane calling for it. Some contact. And the foul on Dockdang drawn by Collins. Mimi Collins just stays in her position. It's just reading scouting report defense, playing that right shoulder. Takes the contact. And Carolina going to change it up a little on the defensive end of the floor, going to this zone. They played this the last few games. Not a turnover out of it. Only the third turnover for State. Usby posting up Collins. Stops, got bottled up. Two in a row from distance for Deja. You can't fall asleep. You certainly want to play the percentages, but at the same time, when somebody starts heating up, you got to be there with a hand up. Deja Kelly forced that turnover. Two possessions of zone, two turnovers. Renaya finally scores. I'm surprised Wes Moore is not calling a timeout right here because you got momentum shifting in a big way. Get stagnant offensively against the zone. Couple turnovers for some easy buckets. Ten point lead has been cut to three. Maddie Cox will come in for Coach Moore at the next whistle. Mimi Collins in and out, but nobody checked Maddie Hayes. And Madison Hayes has done a really good job of crashing the offensive glass. She hasn't gotten one yet. But in the zone, it's tough to box out. Coming off a career-high 14 rebounds in Alaska. Janarski picked up her dribble and threw it away. I like this, continue to go to on-ball screen against the zone. 
Uh, it was a little late, but got it there. Baldwin couldn't get the angle. And because it was a little late, it took River Baldwin out beyond the paint. Deja feeling it, cupped out. Contact as Hayes ran into Usby, and no foul, but a turnover. As the zone has helped North Carolina cut this lead back down to five. They said it couldn't be done. The men's player I've ever seen. That's incredible. There you see some of the bona fides for David Thompson, who pedestal outside 44 inches high which is his vertical which just doesn't sound it, awesome. it doesn't sound possible no it doesn't what a great player he was for the pack nice India Navarre limited in the first half with a couple of fouls it's her fourth point Last seven possessions, three turnovers for State, who only had two in the first half. Almost lost it again. And then, boy, Rivers just able to tight rope it in. Clock clock winding down. Rivers elevates, left it well short. Usby took it away. And Usby, not the most graceful trip down the floor, but it works. Now, this Usby is just... She's so solid. You know what you're going to get. She has the ability to score. She doesn't do anything flashy. She doesn't play outside herself. She just gets it done. She's into double figures now. And a 10-point lead. Briefly cut to one. Brooks with the bucket. She now has 10 points. Nye Kelly shooting over Brooks. A couple of really good freshmen in this league. And then Usky gets the foul. That was a great job by Maddie Cox of boxing out. Staying in front. Usky's so active when she goes to the offensive glass. So great job. And it's the third on Usby. And already five team fouls. So State in the bonus for the rest of this quarter. Sends Cox to the line, just 56% on the season. Gymnastics coming up here on the ACC Network and the ESPN app tomorrow night. NC State goes on the road to take on number 20 Clemson at Little John Coliseum. Coverage starts at 7 Eastern time. Maddie got them both. She now has five points as Donarski comes back in. Lexi just two points on the night. She's missed all three of her three-point attempts. Navarre tried to penetrate and then lost it. And Usby, who seems to be like a ball magnet, picked it up. Deja Kelly, short. Gokteng tried to save it. Rivers. Move it. it. It just keeps getting stuck. It allows Carolina to, to set their defense every time. Shot clock again into single digits. Collins. For it. The bar comes up with the rebound. Usby. Looking for someone. It's Donarski. Good look. Good result. That was really good offense. You've got Usby who is patient. He's poised. Waits for the split screen. It doesn't happen. Allows the space to clear so the defender's not involved anymore. And then Donarski continuing to, to find the open area on the floor. So Brooks guarded by Donarski. Clock again, dwindling, but Rivers hits the shot. 
Tania Rivers has the ability to make something out of nothing all the time. Navarre. Kelly got hit and has a chance for the three-point play. And you're going to see Maddie Hayes change her feet right here, trying to keep Deja Kelly from going left, trying to ice the screen. Gokdane switches it. But you can't, as a defender, when you're trying to keep someone from using the screen, back off of the ball handler. You have to get into the ball handler, and all Deja Kelly needs is that little bit of time and space. Hayes picked up the foul. Three-point play for Kelly. Cuts the lead back down to one. State led by as many as 10 in this game. My Rivers, great take. I like that. I'd like to see Deja <laughs> Kelly do that a little bit more. You, know, you, you play your scouting report defense to the mid-range, oftentimes going left. I'd like to see her do more of that, get into the rim. Carolina going to stay in this zone. a little over a second difference between the two clocks and NC State will try to take as much off as possible. Thrown away. James, a little bit too much on that. Deja Kelly has 15 points in this quarter. They only scored 12 points as a team in each of the first two. Kicks off the rim. And North Carolina only down by one as we head to the fourth quarter in this great run. Confident, she's found her way. You see the 15 points in 10 minutes there in the third quarter. And Carolina scored 24 points in the third, only 24 points in the first half entirely, and that is their lowest scoring first half in an ACC game this year. Cam Ward and Stephanie White joining you. It's sold out Reynolds Coliseum. Second-hand ticket market was buzzing here in Raleigh for people trying to get in. Deja ran into River Baldwin, who was called for another blocking foul. It was the third foul on River, who is showing her frustration. Three points for her tonight, one of six from the floor. And Kelly is shaken up. Yeah, Deja Kelly is attacking. That's clearly a blocking foul, and it looks like they bump knees. Or she got it on the inner thigh. Kelly is okay. Some of the student section and band were actually clapping when Kelly was all right. Well, I'm sure that uh, Courtney Banghart is holding her breath with the dwindling guard rotation. She has four healthy scholarship guards, and Renaya Kelly comes in to give Deja a little bit of a break. Brody Schneider, the athletic trainer, will take a look at Deja over there on the bench. The defense by James to keep Denarcy from shooting the three, but she found space for two. That was good action. Again, anytime you get some ball movement, player movement, you're going to get higher percentage looks. North Carolina's first lead since it was 10 to 9 in the first quarter. Coming back from 10 points down in the third. Shot clock. Skinny for Baldwin Short. Good pass. Carolina out there without Deja Kelly. Navarre attacks, a little bit too strong. Gokden, big follow. Right now, energy, intensity, attention to detail, just much better for the Tar Heels. Early in the ball game, there was the Wolfpack getting those 50-50 balls, making the hustle plays. Now it's the Tar Heels. Shot 
Top. Another factor. James puts it up. Hunts her own rebound. Sliced through a couple of defenders with a flashy finish. <laughs> what a play by Isaiah James. I like the second effort and then getting to the rim. She's got to find a rhythm and it's going to be attacking the paint. Gets the crowd alive. Bonarski for three. Anaya Kelly called for the foul, going for the rebound. The second on her is Deja Kelly comes back into the game. Rosiah well, James, three-point shot is off, long shot, long rebound. <laughs> How about splitting those defenders? At first glance, I was like Lexi Donarski. I thought maybe she traveled, but it's the way that she gathered and picked it up. And the heads up to not put it on the floor. Terrific finish for James. James turns the corner on Navarre and gets another one. And that was an assist to River Baldwin. I know that they're not going to put that in the stat sheet, but she had Maria Gogdang, the help defender, on the high side and cleared out the space for James. And Kelly crashes to the floor. Rivers picked up the foul. And this is what you want to do if you're Isaiah James to get yourself back in. And see how River Baldwin just held Gokdane high, allowed an open space, and the rotation from the backside was too late. It was Isaiah James that really put the hammer down in the overtime win for State last year in this building against Carolina. I like that switch. Those two are about the same size. They can guard multiple, multiple players. James finds Rivers. And he's able to work himself free and nails the three. This is the first possession that I have seen NC State move the ball to multiple sides. That was three or four sides and run multiple off-ball screening actions. State on a 7-0 run. That stuff is hard to guard. Iso ball is not. Oh. It's easy. Usby, Zelaya. He's now three of 14 from distance. And she's going to come out of the game. Gotting will come back in. Collins. Got it. Courtney Benghart wants to talk about it. Doesn't want to let this crowd continue to get going. She wants to try to stop the momentum right away. But the Wolfpack are certainly heating up. Okay. One dad. Just got into the house. One mom. Three. Watch this play right here. This is the second side. Madison Hayes comes off of the slice screen, gets to the strong side block. And then a third side of the floor, the ball touches, the defense get lost. She knocks down a three. This is what's been missing for the Wolfpack here tonight. In fact, for both teams, I think this is the first time we saw the ball get to three sides. Madison Hayes with that shot. So all the season tickets were sold out three, more, three months before the season. And then anything that was left has all been gobbled up. Usby to Gokdang to stop a drought. They have gone several minutes. That's a great seal. I mean, Gokdang just doing some work, putting River Baldwin on her heels. James. I love it. I love it. Shot's not falling. Haven't been in a rhythm. Get aggressive to the rim. They will not guard Usky out there. See Collins well into the paint. Mm -hmm. 
Bernarski. A shot fake. And a rebound for Sanaya Rivers. State has hit five straight shots. James working on Donarski and drew a foul. A third foul on Lexi Donarski as we hit a timeout at Reynolds, NC State. Red hot from the floor, holding on to the ball better too in this fourth quarter. They're up six. Great fourth quarter so far for NC State after Carolina took a brief lead. Carolina's not won in this building since 2019, and NC State is trying to extend its home win streak to 13 games that started by beating North Carolina here last year. In that fourth quarter comeback where Isaiah James was so clutch. Now with the free throw line. She has 10 points all in the second half. Getting shut out in the first half, limited by foul trouble. Renai Kelly, good job to draw contact. And then Rivers and Gokdang went down hard. And the ball is rolling all the way back to that court. Amy Collins now has three personals and sends Renaya Kelly to the line. Last four games, she has started her fifth straight start and has brought a spark to the team. Courtney Banghart saying it certainly has helped Deja Kelly play off the ball a little bit better and not coincidentally, Deja's numbers have gone up too. It takes some pressure off of Deja Kelly to have to be a playmaker for herself and for others to run the offense. And you see Carolina coming after that free throw back into the zone. The zone challenged the Wolfpack in that third quarter. They became a little stagnant. And five turnovers in that quarter. Shot clock now at four. Not handled cleanly by Baldwin. Here come the Heels. That is their first turnover of the quarter. Renaya Kelly left open. Big three. This is a freshman who's not afraid of the moment. Hasn't been in this position before, on the road, in this type of environment. But Tar Heels have done a really good job of neutralizing the crowd, of answering every run. Courtney Banghart so impressed with Renaya Kelly. Especially, as you mentioned, as a true freshman, Donarski gets the Baldwin miss. Two zone possession, zero paint touches. Rivers gambled on the steal, but was able to get back. Gokden calling for it, and Courtney Banghart calls a timeout with 13 seconds left on the shot clock. We will take a very quick 30-second timeout, see what Coach Banghart draws up when we come back to Raleigh. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft. 307 left to go, and there is the reset. North Carolina with the basketball. State still with four timeouts. The possession arrow pointing towards NC State. Renaya Kelly will inbound. With 13 seconds left to shoot, Courtney Banghart took the timeout. Gokdang looking for somebody. Kelly's going to have to shoot it. Got the rim. Not a thing of beauty coming out of the time. Yeah, no, certainly not what Courtney Banghart was hoping to get. She didn't like what she saw offensively and wanted something specific. James calling for it. A little bit too strong. Gokdang. 
hands it off to Kelly. That is now 10 rebounds for Maria Gopkin. Kelly, wide left. Rivers comfortably with the rebound, slows it down a bit. State has gone over two minutes now without a point. It's still clinging to a three-point lead. Collins goes right at Usby, who knocked it away. Pardon me, that was Hayes. Usby bottled up by Baldwin and Collins. And a play call. It's really loud now for Renaya Kelly. Gokteng's got to shoot, does so, and Baldwin gets the miss. We saw NC State this morning at Huron working against this 3-2 zone and working on getting it to the high post, working on cutting out of it. Not once have they gotten a touch in the paint against this zone. Shot clock winding down. Baldwin, big offensive rebound as we hit a minute to go in the fourth quarter. And River Baldwin right away, clock, clock. Clock management, time and score. Great awareness for the graduate center. Hayes would have brought the house down. Kelly. Quickly to oh, Donarski. Good recovery yep. by James. Terrific defense. Daring Usby to shoot, and she won't. Kelly got by Hayes, tried to get it into Usby, and then grabbed by Rivers. Possession arrow to the pack. What a play by Sanaya Rivers. That was picture perfect defensive rotation. The drive is coming. The help commits, the backside drops. Samaya Rivers, terrific defensive play. I mean, you can't draw it up any better than this. This is perfect shell drill defense right here. Mimi Collins commits. Samaya Rivers drops. She's able to get it tie up in the possession to the Wolfpack. Huge defensive play. And the shot clock is off. You see, North Carolina has only two personal fouls, so a couple of fouls to give. Both teams have been stuck on the score for a while. NC State has, hasn't scored for over four minutes, but it's been three and a half minutes for Carolina. Well, you got to expect Carolina to try to get a trap and a steal first thing before going straight to a foul. Plenty of timeouts for Westmore if they don't like what they get right here. James has That's eight points in this quarter. And she gets fouled. That's too easy, that inbound pass right there. Not a lot of resistance. Four fouls on Donarski. These two teams will play again in Chapel Hill on February 22nd. That's a good switch. That's a good switch, yes. Great job. Results in a turnover. They go inside for two, and it skips off the rim. Deja Kelly couldn't get the shot to go. I mean, really good defense. Got the turnover, and I think Kelly was expecting the foul just off the rim. Collins with the big offensive board and then fouled by Deja. Yeah, I like I like the way that they switched and denied in that inbounds. They gotta again go for the steal first. 
and then can quickly foul. Westmore again has timeouts. So you don't want to turn it over. If you can't get it inbounds, no turnover, no five second call, you've got a timeout, use it. Asia Kelly, 21 points to lead the way for both teams, but missed that shot underneath that would have cut the lead to one. Be interested to see if they put a big on the ball here. Doesn't look like they're going to. Sanai Rivers with the inbounds. Big, big possession. Ooh. Brooks fouled by Deja, and who wanted a backcourt. Yeah, that was close. That was close because it looked like Zoe Brooks had one foot behind. Oh, they missed that. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a big play right there. That's a big play. Instead, the foul on Kelly, her third. Asia Kelly, who had a great third quarter, scored, has scored zero points here in the fourth. And Courtney Banghart has a timeout, so right now, most important thing is to get the rebound if she misses. And she did. Brooks went over two on that trip, and the ball is off of Collins. That's the state. Holding their breath now is the officials will look at that for the all-important possession. 12 seconds left to go. Carolina has scored only 11 points in this quarter. State just two more. They initially called North Carolina ball. But it looks like, it looks like Mimi Collins hit it and might, might have hit Alyssa Usby's hand at the end. I mean, certainly Collins hits it, but does it touch Usby's hand last? Remember, it's got to be clear, it's got to be conclusive. Because it was called on the floor as North Carolina basketball. can see the way that the ball spins. It looks like it may have went off of Alyssa Usby's fingertips. Aaron Priado and Kualani Spurlock Welsh over at the monitor. Gakdang, Gakdang, pardon me, and Usby have double doubles for North Carolina. But they are trailing by three. After the review, the call stands. They're going to stay Carolina ball. The call stands. So I'm assuming Courtney Banghart's going to use a timeout right here. Yep. Advance the ball. And look, Carolina still has a timeout. So you don't, there's a lot of time left. You don't have to go for a three right away. If you get a quick two and a foul, and then you have a time rim right away. So emphasis on the quick. Emphasis on the quick. Put some pressure on him to defend without fouling. And then if you get a collapse, maybe you get a spray three, or maybe you get a screen the screener action that gives you a quick look at a three. And if there's a tight closeout, then you attack. 12 and a half seconds left. Usby inbounds. NC State not putting anyone on the ball. That's more telling Zoe Brooks to get over closer to Renaya Kelly, who's in the corner. Screen the screener. Good defense. And a charge. Good defense. Screen the screener action. Trying to get Lexi Donarski the ball. And look at Isaiah James. She just stays on top. A two doesn't hurt you, right? A two doesn't hurt you. So stay on top. Force her to go back door, and Donarski runs right through her. Donarski 
is, has fouled out of the game, and that is the 26th charge drawn by Isaiah James. By far the most for any Wolfpack player. And Well, we talked to Courtney Banghart before the game, and she was so concerned about James, had that big breakthrough game against him last year, and that's a big play. It's just a smart play. It's a smart play. There's no reason to get behind her. There's no reason to chance her getting a three-point shot. Stay on top. If she cuts back door and gets a layup, fine. You live with that, right? If she reads in and fades to the three and there's good pressure on the ball, that's a difficult pass to make. But oftentimes, the things that you talk about in timeouts in these situations don't get carried over into live action, and Isaiah James <laughs> took that into the action and executed it. Janarski well, has fouled out of the game. Seven points. Three below her season average. NC State basketball. Got off to a 14-0 start on the year. State trying to hang on to win their 13th straight home game. Most important thing if you're the Wolfpack is to get the ball inbounds. If not, I believe there's one timeout remaining. Coming up after our game, the Nothing But Net crew is going to break down the night in the ACC with highlights and analysis of every women's game. So stay right here on the ACC Network and the ESPN app. Anticipate an interview with Isaiah James from the uh, studio. If State can hang on, uh -oh. Rivers gets it. Yep. Anaya Kelly got her. Third on her. Rivers a good free throw shooter. You can pretty much salt this game away by hitting one. Again, most important thing right here, if you're Carolina, you got to box out. If it comes off, you have to get the board so that you can get your time out. Got it. Huge to extend the lead to four. Carolina takes the timeout. It's final timeout. And we'll advance the ball again into the front court. All right now for Courtney Banghart, working on execution. You know, getting an opportunity to get a quick score. It's a two possession game, so you just got to get a quick score and a foul. Possession arrow in favor of the Pack, who have not hit a field goal in over five minutes yet still leading this game carolina's offense has not been lighting it up either just 11 points in this quarter communication on the defensive end of the floor could be some switching but you got to make sure that you're communicating it make sure you're calling it the NC State players right now discussing things among themselves as the coaching staff was having a little meeting out on the floor. And, and that's a sign of a veteran team, right? You've got players who have, who have been in college four and five years, a veteran group discussing time and score situations, what they're doing. Player-led teams are oftentimes the best teams. And it's a good reminder, NC State sitting number five in the country started this season unranked. The unknown, right? The unknown of these players that are coming back, and you can see how connected they are. You can see the leadership, and you can see why it was a quick rise. From unranked to top 10 before they even hit December. Usby gets it out, and Navarre takes a dribble. Precious seconds ticking away, and the NC State Wolfpack uh, four tenths of a second away from the win. Westmore says no fouls. 
Carolina inbounds with Navarre. A three will not hurt them. NC State, despite not hitting a field goal in over five minutes to close out the quarter, hangs on to win it 63.